Hey guys, listen to this verse from 1 Timothy 6. Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Life is actually about enjoyment. But the only way that we can enjoy the fullness of what God has for us is if our hope is in God. If it's in anything else, as this passage mentions, the uncertainty of riches, if it's in relationships with people, if it's in a career, uh, popularity, whatever it might be, that can all be taken away. But when our hope is in God, then nothing can really be taken from us because we have everything in him. And so therefore, everything that comes our way in life is a gift that we can receive with gladness and joy rather than running after things, needing things to make us whole or to make us uh, feel happy. So we are not chasing joy. Joy comes as a result of our connection with Jesus. And then everything else that we receive in this life can be enjoyed. The relationships in our lives, the gifts that God enables us to have. And this is how Jesus can say, whoever loves their life will lose it, but whoever hates their life in this world will receive it eternal life. He's not saying we're to be walking around, you know, grumpy, hating everything in this life. He's saying, no, the priority is to put our hope in God and not in our own life, not in our own desires. And that's how Paul says in another place, right? What the, what the Christian life is, is that we've died with him so that we will live with him. We've died to serving ourselves and now we actually get to live Jesus living in us, our hope in God, so that everything in life can be enjoyed. Hey, look forward to seeing you guys this Sunday in a few more weeks at Gordon, and hopefully we'll have news about next landing place and praying it'll be a long-term solution. Have a great week.